All right, man. So look, I came across this crazy, crazy video. But before we get to the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor in the comment section down below. Let me know what qualities. Okay, what well, this is the poll question of the day, by the way. But let me know what qualities would you teach your kids, even if you don't have kids. I still want to know what qualities would you teach your kids, even when you do have them. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I ain't got no kids, but I'm gonna teach my kid how to love everybody. I'm gonna teach them about the truth of God. I'm gonna teach them so much that when they get older, they gonna take them qualities and they gonna be as wise as their father. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? But anyways, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? It's free. Just if you don't got an IG, make an IG real quick. Follow your boy. You know what I'm saying? Only take like three seconds. Follow your boy on IG. We almost close to 1,200. You feel me? 1,200 followers. So follow your boy. Also, I got a podcast channel in the description box below. I promise y'all, y'all gonna like it. Subscribe to the podcast channel, man. It's free. It take a second. Okay? Take a second. The link is in the description. You ain't gotta look nothing up. It's right there. Click on it. Subscribe. Do your thing. Anyways, without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. We need to recognize. All right, I already know the video gonna be terrible. They got Hillary Clinton to start off the video, okay? Recognize our privilege and practice humility. The concept of white privilege has become- Not her talking about privilege, oh lord. Become an important bulwark of the Democratic Party's ideology and was discussed in nearly every Democratic debate. I'm Ami Horowitz and I'm in Kansas City at a white privilege conference. What is white privilege, you may ask? I don't know, let's find out. This white privilege conference had over a thousand attendees, many of them educators. I think it's more disturbing that they actually have a white privilege con. Uh, what was it? White privilege? I won't say conference. Thousand attendees. Many. Of them. Let's find out. This white privilege conference. Had conference. I don't know why I was thinking con concert, but it's already just amazing to me. Okay, it's disturbing. Okay, not amazing. It's disturbing to me that they have a white privilege conference. Wow. Over a thousand attendees, many of them educators. I think that it's fair to say all white people in this country have white privilege. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Do all white people have white privilege? Yes. I feel myself having it every day. The country is founded on white supremacy and that like persists today. Hyper aware, oh. feel super guilty all the time. But that white people in this country generally are prejudiced? Uh, I'd go further and say we're all racist. Is it fair to say that all white people are racist throughout the country? Yes, absolutely. Not just the South. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes it's okay to be like, oh, all white people do this, or white people are X, and especially in a negative light. Is it wrong to judge people collectively? Yes. Is it wrong to judge... What? Are all white people racist? Absolutely. Yes. 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 Th these people are, are racist. Yes. Is it fair to judge people collectively? Yes. You just judged all white people, bro. <laughs> like, literally, you... Oh, my gosh. I, I guess there's a lot of people in this in this freaking world that don't have common sense. You literally just sat there and said it's all... Okay, you said all. You didn't say some. You didn't say that person. You didn't say this person. You said all. You didn't, you didn't say that. It, it, you said all. And then they said... Do you think it's fair to judge people collectively? Which meaning, do you think it's fair to judge a group of people to say that they're all racist? And you just say yes. Like, I, like, bro, are you... I, man, I'm, I'm lost for words right now, bro. This is honestly the most dumbest... That's the probably the most... Second dumbest thing I ever heard. Second dumbest thing. I mean, seriously, bro. You, I, I never understood why people can can hate against their own race. You feel me? People think I'm hating against my own race. I don't hate against my own race. I love my race. It's just that I'm not going to give my race sympathy. I'm not. I'm just not going to do it. That's just not me. I keep it a buck. I keep it a hundred. I'm just not going to give my race sympathy. So think that I hate against black people all day long. I don't hate against black people. They just can't accept the truth and they can't hold each other accountable. Same thing I see this for white people. How can you say you're basically saying that all white people are racist? You're basically saying that yourself is racist. You're saying that you are racist. You feel me? And, a, and this is a white privilege conference. So obviously these are white people. So and then you're saying that yourself is racist if you're collecting and saying all, all of white people are racist. I don't see how you can sit here and say that all white people are racist. If you're racist yourself, just say you. Don't put everybody else in your business. Don't put everybody else in what you have going on. That's you. That's not every white person that I done came across. 
That's why I don't say all oh, white people racist. Say that I'm the white the white man this and white man pet and the white people pet. Say whatever you want to say. Say whatever. It's just that people can't handle the truth. Oh my. Judge people collectively? It's wrong to judge everyone collectively. You know? Duh. But then you say white people's racist. All right, bro. Uh, yeah, absolutely. No one's a monolith. That's wrong to judge people collectively, right? To, to judge people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Tell me about some of the white privileges that you have uh, encountered over the past, let's say today. Uh, you're talking about me as a white man yeah. today? Yeah. Oh gosh, uh, I mean it's, I don't know if I could give you examples. Because uh, no. it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Everybody is freaking equal. Everybody is the god dang same. Everybody is the same. We are in the land of the free. I'm just confused on what do this white privilege have to, like white supremacy, white privilege, racist, that, right, right, right. Bro, all this is straight B, S, okay? All is straight bull, bro. It's straight bull. You can't if you can't give an example, it don't happen. It, it's not real. I mean, granted, it is some white people out there. Some, not all. It is some white people out there that could have that privilege. But at the end of the day, I don't even believe that all white people have this white privilege type of thing. I don't. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. And I don't believe that they're all racist. I don't believe that all black people are targets. I don't believe that. We are not always the victims. Like, white people, they're not always just this, oh, uh, they get pulled over by the cops and then they just get ready and go because they're white. Like, no, that's not always the case. Y'all watch too many movies. That doesn't seriously happen all the time. Not, not yeah. really today, but maybe. Sorry, I'm not good at thinking. Like today, what white privilege what? have you What did she just say? It's, I don't know if I could give you examples. But... Um, not, not yeah. really today, but maybe sorry i'm not good at thinking like today what white i'm not good at thinking <laughs> the freak privilege have you come across uh i sat in my room until 12 30 this morning so what, what are some of the white privilege things you came across let's say today today yeah i mean just just being in the world <laughs> is it fair to say that on a daily basis black people around this country uh, face obstacles because of white privilege. Absolutely, absolutely. White supremacy as an institution uh, punish, punishes black folk uh, in da a way. Da daily. daily. Absolutely, absolutely. Every day. How black people are consumed with this day to day and they deal with this issue day to day. Oh, 100%. I mean, I think that's just so obvious that if you're not admitting that, you're, you're, you're blinding yourself to reality. Are you, are you a professor? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, makes, that makes sense now. Uh, you know, in fact, when we go to the airport, I walk with her. My wife's black, so I'll have my hand on her so that she people see that I'm with her. I extend my white privilege over to her. Now I'm here in heart. What the freak? What the what the what the freak? You it, bro, we are in the year 2020. This was actually made five years ago. OK, but we are in the year 2022 right now. I'm just what? I extend my hand over to her as I send my hair my white privilege. Bro. I, I, I just lost a lot of brain cells watching that. Bro, I lose brain cells every day watching these type of videos. But I do it for y'all. I do it for y'all. But seriously, I lose I lose brain cells every single day watching these type of videos. Okay? And that's why some, like, I'm, I'm starting to really become like these people. I'm, re I'm really starting to become dumb and not have common sense at all. Harlem in front of the Jackie Robinson housing projects to ask residents what they think of white privilege. Do you know what the, I, the concept of white privilege is? The concept of white, white privilege. privileges. Yeah. You ever hear that? I've heard of it, but I don't think about it. When you wake up in the morning, do you immediately think about or, uh, and are consumed with the idea of white privilege? No. You don't think about that all day long, every day? No? No, no I'm not consumed with it at all. I teach students I'm not consumed with anything except for runny noses and pencils. My mom didn't raise me to, to view color as, as an object. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Boy, that just gave me the chills. Oh my gosh. I ain't never heard so much common sense in my life. It's funny to me how I believe that, okay, <laughs> This is this come like every day I watch a new video and it's always something new within that video. 
But it's funny to me how the white people that was in this video, it seemed like they're more consumed by it. They, they, it's like they're more worried about it when you got certain black people like me, myself, who's not worried about white privilege, who's not worried about no race, no color. I don't look at color and I don't think that I don't think that it matters. I feel like people people should be looked at because of their actions, because of the things that they do, not because of their color. Color don't mean nothing. Color don't mean nothing to me. I don't know about y'all, but color don't mean nothing to me. You know, I look at a I look at a person because of the fruits, the fruits of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Look at their fruits. Look at how they carry themselves. Look at how they walk outside. Look at how not when I say walk outside, I don't mean literally like how they dress. I'm talking about look at how they act in public. You feel me? Do they act all ratchet? Do they act all ghetto? Do they act all this and that? Like, dude, like that's what I look at. I don't look at the race. Because at the end of the day, black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, anybody can be real and anybody can be fake. Anybody can be uh, anybody can have common sense and a lot of people don't have common sense. It's just not black people and white people. Trust and believe me, it's a lot of races that has their problems. A lot of races and a lot of people in this country has their own problems. I don't I don't care for right uh race. Race don't race doesn't help me in no way. It doesn't benefit me in no way. By me being black, I don't care. I speak my truth and I leave it at that. I walk outside very proud. I don't care. I don't care what nobody else gotta say. I argue with people in person too. Don't care. Race doesn't you I, I don't talk to people that was black that didn't have no common sense. I don't talk to, I don't seen people that who was white who has no common sense. But I don't look at race. I look at their character. The character matters more than their color. If anything. Do you wake up every day thinking um, I am not gonna succeed today because of white privilege? No. Obviously not. You see, I'm my own businessman. Would you even think it's damaging to tell your kids and teach your kids, and if you're a, a black kid, that you're not going to succeed in life because you have uh, Of course. Privilege? Of course. It makes them think, okay, well, I'm going to be nothing. If I want to be a doctor, I can't even do that anymore. It gives them no hope. Color age wait, stop. Wait, wait, maybe I misunderstood the question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because... Obviously not. You see, I'm my own businessman. Would you even think it's damaging to tell your kids and teach your kids, and if you're a, a black kid, that you're not going to succeed in life because you have uh, Of course. Privilege? Of course. It makes them think, okay, well, I'm going to be nothing. If I want to be a doctor, I can't even do that anymore. In today's age, you can be anything you want. White, black, Hispanic, you can be anything you want. It's so many black business owners, bro. You can be anything that you want. It's so many white business owners. You can be anything that you want, bro. Don't allow race to don't allow your skin color to define who you are and who you can be in this world. No matter what, bro, it don't matter what race you are. You could be anything, bro. Anything. A job can't deny you because you're black. A job can't deny you because you're white. It can't happen. It just can't happen. If and if it does happen, guess what you finna get? Some money. Just saying. It gives them no hope. Color ain't stop nothing. I mean, it's a myth. Exactly. It's if you're willing to put forth an effort, you'll do what you gotta do. I got kids in here, man, that's lawyers, doctors, that they grew up out of this building. I know it sounds cliche, but I can't accomplish anything. If you let something stop you, then that's you. Me, I ain't let nothing stop me. My daughter is graduating at the top of her class. I'll say to them, how many black people do you know? Do you think that sometimes white people just kind of shut up a little bit? Oh yeah, for sure. That white people should definitely shut the f up. We white Americans need to do a better job of listening when African Americans talk. I'm back. White privilege alone is not enough for me to make these videos. If you're so moved by my content that you'd like to contribute, you can go to Ami Horo. All right, man. So that's the end of the video. And in this video, Loki, it um. Every video I watch open my eyes. Every like every day I watch something new, and this is the type of stuff that I be into because I want to learn more about what other people got to, uh, what other people got to say about these type of situations that's happening in today's uh, today's time and age. That that's just like that's just me, okay. And watching this video, I realized that the white people in this video. I'm not saying all white people, but the white people in this video feel like they care more about race than the actions than some black people. But then you got a lot of more. You got a lot of black people that like trust me a lot okay that's probably like 30 percent of the black community right there maybe 20 you even but you got a lot of more black people who, who who looks at race more than a white person but then you got white people who looks at race more than the black people. basically it's like we can never come to 
like we can never just be like this okay we can never just unite all right because they, they care more about this and we don't really care about it and we care about it more than they care about it. it's just like bro we can never be united it's just all it's all like bull okay it's a bull all at this point but if you do like the, uh, if you did guys if you did i cannot talk today if you guys enjoyed the video god dang all right, if you guys enjoyed the video, man, do me a big favor, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG, man. Without further ado, it's been your boy, the pan. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.